Remember that that is only for the Holy Spirit. Frankincense is in a particular way offered to the Holy Spirit. Why? Because I was saying that the Holy Spirit is the poster child of God, the love within God, but also because when we worship God, and often we hear the, these prayers at Mass, we worship through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that when we have, He even gives us the ability to say, Jesus is Lord. We can't even worship God without the Holy Spirit. That's why there's a relationship between worship and Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit and incense. What was the devil offering Jesus? A false kingdom and a false conversion of all humanity. It's the Holy Spirit that's going to convert all the hearts of the earth. It's the Holy Spirit that changed the apostles so that they can establish the kingdom of Jesus little by little. It's the Holy Spirit that will work through the church to finally bring Jesus to be king of the universe and world, where everyone willingly lets Jesus be king of their hearts. That's what Jesus' desire was. He wanted that, and that's why the devil was able to tempt him. He was giving him a false version of what Jesus actually wanted. So the devil was giving, on the one hand, a false version of the Eucharist, of the crucifixion, and of the conversion of the world, the establishing of Jesus' kingdom on earth. But he, he was also attacking the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Since each of those temptations were related to those two things, one, two, and then the third one. The devil will come to us during this Lent and do the very same thing. He wants to destroy your relationship with God the Father. He does not want you to believe that God will give you everything that you need. And if he does see that you believe that God will give you everything, he wants to tempt you to ask God for things that are sinful. He wants you to cross the line. And when he sees that you can't do that, that you can't ask God for everything, because you can't ask God for things that are sinful, then he's going to catch you in a trap and say, well, then I will give you what you need, but you're going to have to worship me and not God. That final temptation is more subtle than you can imagine. This is what Lenda is about, facing the devil, facing these three temptations with Jesus so that we can become like him. My friends, I hope you dive deeply into the season of Lent. It's deeper than just some of the things that we hear. There's so much more to it. Enter deeply into it, walk with us and Jesus, and I'll see you at Easter. God bless you and have a beautiful day.